you guys, it's Vivids, and welcome back to another video. Now, this is going to be another episode of my How I series, and in this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how I trained my Agility 299. Um, now, for the majority of Agility, I did use Effigies, so hence my 99 Slayer, and while I was training Max Combat as well, I actually picked up, I actually picked up a ton of Effigies, and I used all of them on Agility, but now since I got 99 Agility, um, all of the Effigies went on Divination, and then from Divination, uh, all my uh, all my Effigies and all my XP Lamps, everything will be going on to Dungeoneering because I need to get to that to 120 so I can achieve that completion escape. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys, you know, kind of the spots that I use to try and tell you guys a little bit about Agility. Um, if you're kind of a lower level and you want to hit that 99, or perhaps you're a higher level and, you know, just, you know, just could benefit from a couple of tips, um, seeing as I'm 99. Um, now, you know, just quick disclaimer, I'm not obviously the best, you know, the Agility um, guru in the whole world. Um... You know, I'm not rank one or anything like that. I'm just, I only got 13 million. And, you know, hopefully most of you guys are just going for that 13 million because 200 million really isn't that necessary. And if you were to do 300, uh, 200 million agility, just use Silverhawk boots. Um, but basically from about uh, 50, I believe it was, 50 to 70, I went to, um, I was in the Wildy course. Now, it, this took about a week or two. Now, obviously now I'm a higher level, I can't exactly remember every little detail about agility, but what I do remember is from 50 to 70, you know, it, it wasn't too much of a pain, um, but I did use the wilderness course and it was very bearable. Um, basically, all you have to do is just, you know, set up agility in one screen and then set up a movie, YouTube, Facebook, and the other one, if you use Facebook still, if that's still a thing. Um, but, you know... The best thing to do while doing agility or while doing any skill in RuneScape is obviously to have another window open. If you have two monitors, you can have RuneScape open on one screen and YouTube open the other, on the other screen. You know, my preference is YouTube um, because, you know, I'm subscribed to a bunch of people and obviously I make YouTube videos. So, you know, I, I can keep up with all the all the stuff that's happening. But basically, basically, 50 to 70 was a wilderness course. And from 70 till about 80 or something like that, I believe it was. I'm not quite sure. It was the Apatol course. And, you know, the best thing to do for the Apatol course is to get the Monkey Grigri, uh, the Ninja Monkey Grigri, sorry, and basically to do that, you just have to go into the town and kill one of the ninjas off of the posts, I think it is, and then just collect their, um, collect their corpse, and then go through the tunnel, you know, that you did in Monkey Madness, and then hit the guy at the very, very end, and he'll be able to hook you up with the Ninja Monkey Grigri, so that was till about 80, I think it was, and then I went to the Gnome, um, the Gnome Agility course, uh, for, you know, for a few levels, I think it was until it would have been... Yeah, so it's 90 to use the Advanced Barbarian course. Now, with the Gnome course, I did use the Advanced Gnome course, of course, because, you know, it's better XP per hour, and, um, you know, you don't want to be doing agility for a very long time because it's not the it's not the most fun skill. But, yeah, from 85 to 90 agility, I used the Advanced Gnome Stronghold course, and from 90 to 99, I did use a Barbarian Outpost course, but obviously I only, did a, I only trained... Um, probably about a quarter or a fifth of the entire agility because all my XP lamps went on to agility. Um, now, a couple of things that you, you really should um, take into account whilst doing agility. Um, number one is definitely the Barbarian Horn. I, no, is it the Barbarian Horn? It's the, um, I think it's the Barbarian Horn. I'm not quite sure. But it's the one where you can get um, agility XP from doing Barbarian Assault. And basically what you have to do is you have to do Barbarian Assault all the way to wave 10. And, uh, you know, you get about 100k free agility XP and it's bonus agility XP. You don't just get 100k agility XP straight off the bat. You have to actually train the agility. But if you're thinking about getting on an agility through training it, you it, you must take into account the um, Barbarian Assault because, you know, it's it's very, very worthwhile. And it's it can be about 100k XP per hour if you do the Barbarian Assault and then train it afterwards. So it's very, very effective. And to see, I've only got 32k agility XP left on here. And uh, the other thing was sure-footed. I believe it's... Um, you stop failing the um, Gnome Stronghold course. I'm not quite sure what it is at Gnome Stronghold course. Um, but at the Barbarian Outpost course, because this is going to be the spot you're going to be spending the most time, You, if you use a sure-footed aura, you don't fail any courses at all. So I really highly, highly recommend getting the sure-footed aura uh, from the Loyalty Point program. And, uh, you know, you stop failing at the Barbarian Outpost course at 93 agility. So you only actually have to use this... Um, Aura up to up to 93, and then from that, or you just train to all the way to 99 through the barbarian, um, through the barbarian McGee our uh, mini game. But basically, what I've got here for you, um, I'm obviously in game right now, and I've kind of just been spending standing at a few spots. But I'm going to quickly go over um, the almost a perfect lap in this course. Uh, there's you can also use surge. 
um, for this end bit along here, but I didn't use surge because I think it's just too much um, too much of a hassle. So basically, you just want to use the rope swing. Um, I preferably use the one on the right. You can use the one on the left if it's busy, but if it's busy, just hop well to make things easier. Um, now, you can click up here at the rope swing because if, if I click there, you'll notice the rope doesn't actually move that much. Oh, actually, yeah, it does. I just lied. Um, but you see I've got the big knob on the end there, so you can click on the knob, which is also good. Um, but what you want to do is as soon as you click on the rope, you have to wait till the XP drops. So basically, this is what I do. I click on the rope, and then I wait till the XP drops, and then you start spam clicking on the log balance, and you should almost teleport over till about away, I don't know, about uh, eighth of the log or something, and then you just spam click the wall. Um, the next bit is quite important. Don't click on the wall straight away. All you have to do is basically um, click on the floor here, and then climb up the wall like so, and then click on the floor first here at the spring device, and then click on the spring device, and then spam click the floor once again. I normally spam, spam click um, above the balance beam. Our uh, reason being is just you know, it's you know there's a there's a larger area to click, and I'm just going to go around it again just to quickly show you guys what I do for the maximum XP per hour. Um, now, like I said before, you can actually use Surge to get across this area down here, um, but you know, I didn't use it for throughout the 99 agility because I thought it was just too much of a hassle and, um, you know, you can use it for the maximum, maximum XP per hour, but at the end of the day, really only speeds it up by a tiny, tiny bit. Um, but one thing to notice is always make sure you click on the floor before you click on the equipment, and that's because if you click on the equipment first, you actually walk up to the equipment, and you know, it takes it takes quite a while considering how long you're staying here for. Um, and you know, if you do it three or four times a trip, it's going to slow you down quite dramatically. But if you see me just spam clicking almost in one spot there, um, you know, that's basically the perfect way to get around the barbarian course. And uh, you know, that's all I've got really for this video today, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed um, how I trained my agility 299. If you have any questions, leave in the comments. I'll be sure to reply to you straight away. And uh, you know, apart from that, guys, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.